So you're thinking about moving to the Omaha, Nebraska area? I'm here to tell you, do not move to Omaha, Nebraska until you know these 10 things. And that's what I'm gonna give you answers for today. Okay, these are 10 things that I wish I had known or I had informed my family about before we moved to the Omaha and Bennington area. Number one, traffic lights on Dodge. Okay, I have never seen anything like this in my life and I have lived in a lot of places. So New York, New Jersey, Virginia, Florida, North Carolina, but basically, the lanes change direction on different days at different times of day. And you're like, how is this even possible? If somebody had told me this before we moved here and before I saw it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have even comprehended what that looked like. But when you are driving down Dodge um, at a certain point, like uh, on the more east end of the city, there are, you've got your standard traffic lights and then you have these other square lights that have arrows and X's. And so sometimes the lanes will have arrows, which means you can go in that lane and other times they will be X's. So not only does it mean you can't drive in that lane, but also that there will be oncoming traffic in that lane instead. So make sure that you are paying attention to these or you will have a bad day, okay? Number two, tornado sirens. Um, so I knew about these before. We moved here from Minnesota, definitely had tornado sirens there, but I did not tell my children about these. So it's almost always the discussion. Um, once a month, they will test the tornado sirens. So it's different depending on what area of town you're in. Um, they test them at different days and different times, but just knowing what the day and time is for testing in your area. And you'll know when it's like sunny and blue skies and no clouds, like, oh, they're testing the tornado sirens. But every once in a while, it'll be like cloudy and windy and it's like, I'm checking my watch. Is it 11 a.m. on the first Wednesday of the month? And that's how you'll kind of have an idea. However, I do hope that there is never a tornado at 11 a.m. on the first Wednesday of the month. Okay, number three. Um, this I'm sure is not unique to the Omaha area, but it is real estate specific. So I thought how oh, perfect to share. Split level homes. Now, I moved here from Minnesota. I lived in, like I said, New York, New Jersey, North Carolina, California, Florida, lots of other places in between. But I had never encountered this before. And when we came and we were house shopping here and I was like, what is the deal? Because almost every home that we visited and we were, you know, kind of shopping on, this was like our second home purchase. And so um, on the lower end of, as far as like price ranges, split level homes, it's like you come in the front door and you come into like this landing space of maybe like, maybe five feet by five feet. And then you have stairs up typically to like a living area and kitchen. And then you have stairs down to like your lower level basement, you know, den or whatever you want to call it. And I am not a fan of these, um, but some people don't mind them. So just be aware that if you're looking in the area, you probably will encounter a split level home. Before we get to number four, make sure you click like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so that you can hear more info about the Omaha area and help other people find the same information that you found helpful. So number four is the bugs. So I made a whole separate video about this and I'm not a bug fan as you will find out if you watch any length of that video, but there definitely are some unique ones here. But what I love the most is that there are very few mosquitoes here. As somebody who is allergic to them and not a fan of bugs, um, I love that majority of the time I can just enjoy outside in the evening and not have to worry about mosquitoes. So I did not know to expect that, but it definitely was a perk moving here. Number five, Husker Games. Okay, if you are coming to the area and somebody says, we're going to watch the game or come and watch the game or did you see the game? And you're like, what game? 
No, that's not a question. The answer to what is the game is always the Husker team. So don't catch yourself in a bad spot. Don't look like a tourist. Know the lingo. Now this is unique because on any given Saturday during football season, you will see I don't even know. It must be like 95% of the population of Nebraska wears red. So it doesn't matter where you're going. You don't have to go to a game. You can go to a restaurant. You can go to church. You can go, I don't even know where. But you will see an inordinate amount of people wearing red. So that's the thing. You want to blend in? Wear red on Saturdays. On Saturdays, we wear red. Okay, number six, traffic. All right, if you're coming to the Omaha area and you're wondering what is traffic like in this part of the country, I love it. People in Omaha will tell you, yes, oh my gosh, sometimes there's traffic. But unless you have lived in, let's call it, you know, the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey-ish, or in LA, you don't know traffic. But around here, you can get most places in, I'd call it 20, 25 minutes. Um, it's really convenient. There's a lot of main roads. So a lot of highways and stuff like that to be able to get you where you need to be. And it's very, for the most part, very straightforward as far as like, it's generally a grid, north and south, east and west. Um, and then you've got some main roads kind of sprinkled in between about every mile or so. And so it just makes it really nice Anytime you want to get somewhere, there are alternate routes. You won't get stuck with like, I need to get to this place, but there's only one way to get there. And generally that's not going to be a problem. All right, number seven, weather. We already talked about tornado sirens, a couple things about the weather here. Number one would be that the weather changes very frequently. The expression is, you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. So that tells you something. I mean, you could be getting like a downpour and it's like, just wait a little bit and it'll pass and then you'll have like sunshine, um, which is odd and wonderful at the same time. Can go the other way too though. So you're like sunny and then like, you're like, is there a tornado coming? Where are the sirens? Definitely keeps you on your toes. And then the other piece I would say is the wind. It can just get a bit crazy sometimes usually like springtime or so, we just have stretches of like really windy days. Um, every now and again, you might, if you're in a neighborhood with some older trees, you might lose a branch. Be careful where you park. Um, I did think one day that it would be a great day to go and fly a kite, but it proved to actually be too windy to fly a kite. So that was fun. Number eight, the College World Series. <laughs> Um, there are a couple big sporting events in the area, even though there are not uh, professional teams. The College World Series is one of them. Um, Olympic swimming trials is another. They actually do curling trials for the Olympics here as well. And so definitely some highlights in the area as far as um, sporting events that are recognized widely. During those time frames, sometimes you want to try and avoid those bigger touristy locations. Maybe not the zoo so much or downtown things. Or if you're looking for a really busy time and you wanna like be around the crowds and all the people, that would definitely be the time to do it. We're coming to the end. Number nine, pronunciation. Okay, in the Midwest, we moved from Minnesota, like I said. And so there are a lot of town names that came from Native American words. And so some of those, you read them and you're like, this is how it's spelled. And then they're like, no, that's not what it says, or that's not what it is, or clearly you are not from here. As you see this, what would you say? Beatrice, no, it's Beatrice. Not sure where that one came from. And then you have this lovely location. What did I say the first time? Potawatomi. Nope. It's Potawatomi. So don't sound like a tourist. Potawatomi, Beatrice, know your verbiage. Number 10, fireworks. Fourth of July, Nebraska. I don't know if it's just Omaha, but people are crazy for fireworks. So if you have animals that get nervous about them, might wanna be talking to your veterinarian about some pet Xanax or something, I don't know. But it regularly is a discussion on social media about who is upset at who, 
don't do fireworks so late. Don't do so many fireworks. Don't do them this far in advance. My cat, my dog, my kids, my babies, they're sleeping, all the things. And then other people are like, it's 4th of July. Just let me have fun. It's only a few days. Deal with it. It's fine. So yeah, it's, it's regular discussion. People joke about it. People get upset about it. It's both sides of the fence. It is a thing. We live on top of a hill. And so I can look out from our back window and see miles of like just nothing but fireworks for hours. And it's not just on the 4th of July. It's like three and four days leading up to the 4th of July. You will see firework tents every mile, I feel like. I mean, am I exaggerating? Like every mile there will be Park, parking lot of Walmart, parking lot of Walgreens, parking lot of schools and like gas stations, you will see tents for fireworks. And you can only buy them so many days in advance. And actually just a couple of years ago, it became such an ordeal. And there were so many people upset about it that they made it a shorter window because it used to be like two weeks in advance of the 4th of July. And now it's only like a week. So um, people got to get those fireworks and blow them up as fast as they can. I can't imagine how much money gets spent on fireworks in just the state of Nebraska every year. So that was number 10, but I got a bonus for you. If you haven't already heard about it, the zoo pass. If you're coming to Omaha and you think you're gonna go to the zoo more than a couple times, maybe you got small kids, it is totally worth the zoo pass. Really reasonable price. At the time when we moved here, we only had three kids. And basically if we went to the zoo twice, it paid for the zoo pass. So it has gone up a little bit in price with inflation and whatnot in the last couple of years, but the zoo pass is totally worth it. Not only do you then get in free every time you go, but um, depending on which pass you get, sometimes you can bring a friend or family member or babysitter. It gives you discounts on concessions and rides. Um, and like I said, depending on the level of pass, because you can actually get higher levels of of membership where you don't have to pay anything for the rides at all. So definitely something to take a look at on their site, but I am definitely a fan. If you're from the Omaha or Bennington area or already have relocated to the area, let me know down in the comments what things you think people relocating to the area need to know. Make sure to check out my Omaha relocation guide. The link is down in the comments. I'm Christy Wampler with Team Locale Nebraska Realty, and I'm here for your family.